is that I'm going to have on here. Did you see that glow? Oh girl, I am glowing. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Beauty by Ada here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I achieved this makeup look. You're seeing right there, it should pop up somewhere. So guys, and if you are a new subscriber, you're seeing this face for the first time, you're hearing this voice for the first time, please why not consider clicking on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you know whenever I post any new videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and tuning in. Please, at the end of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family if you found it helpful. So guys, let's just get into this video and keep watching. So first of all guys, I have my things right here with me. So first, let's get in with the brows. I mean, my brows are kind of bushy, but that's fine because... Man, we are on this lockdown thing and I am not ready to do anything. You know, I'm not ready to do anything more to my brows. So yeah, here I have my brush and then so if you hear any noise in the background, my kids, those kids are something else. I love them though. So just so you know, I'm telling you now, so you know. Sorry. Okay. My lips are kind of dry. Mm. Yeah. I don't like my lips being dry even before starting my makeup or anything. I don't just like my lips being dry. So I'm looking for. So, what I do normally before I start up with my brows, I usually go in with my Rimmel Stay Mats. You guys already know this is what I use. My Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, and then first of all, I just like to apply that all over my face. Right now, so this is right here. Yeah. You know, I like to apply that right there. The Rimmel Stay Matte, okay. So, I apply that all over. Honestly, I don't even have any particular, like I didn't have any particular makeup look in mind, but you, you know me, we are just definitely going to do something really nice and I'm thinking something really colorful, you know, something vibrant. Oh wow, look at that. So, to be doing my brows. My brows are kind of bushy, but that's fine. There are some days that your brows will not just cooperate with you. But that's fine, sis, that's fine, because this is a real deal. Now I'm going in with my, this is my Colourpop concealer, so I'm going, I'm going to go in with this Colourpop concealer. Mm. I always say I like going in with the lighter one for my like to highlight my under brows and then a darker shade for my up brows so I don't have to do too much of blending and everything you know so. One thing I do not have is like a good, you know how you have all the good brows with the arc and everything. My brows is just so messed up. Like 
I don't know where I got that from. My brows is just so messed up. And I am always so jealous of my sister because her brows are just my she has like my mom's kind of brows. Her brows are just so beautiful. She doesn't even need to do anything much to it and then boom, her brows are popping. But mine I have to struggle with it to give it a nice shade, to give it man. It's so annoying. So, so I'm going in now with my Beauty Blender, this is the Real Technique Beauty Blender, by the way. And then I'm going to blend this out. Okay guys, so I am back. So I got it, this is my eyeshadow primer. I got it, got it, got it. So I'm going to be using this Morphe and James Charles palette. Honestly guys, I don't even know what I want to do, but I'm just doing this. Start up. Okay, so that's good. It's funny how when I want to do a cut crease, I like look up and then look down. Wherever the um, wherever the eyeshadow primer stops, I know that's where I should start. That's funny, but that's what I always do. You see that? <laughs> that's so funny, but it it works for me because like whenever I look up and like then I look down and wherever it stops I know that that's the particular place it should be and then look at it it's popping <laughs> it's funny but that's what I do that's just it you know this makeup thing does not have any particular rule or anything I mean it has some rules there are some do's and don'ts there are some things you don't do but it does not have a rule you know like I don't know how to explain that but that's what it is so yeah I like that Okay, let's go. So this is what I mean. I do this first and then I'm like You see that? I have to do that again. I I'm like I look up and then <laughs> and then see that. Yeah, see that. Look at that. So I know I should follow this particular line right here and then boom I get it You see why I actually love this James Charles palette. We have so many options from normal eyeshadows to glitter, everything. Let me line my eyes. So I'm really contemplating if I should put on my lashes or not I'm really thinking I don't know because I don't want to go through the hassle and tussle of putting on my lashes but I mean we all know the lashes make makes the makeup look and, you know. Okay, excuse me, I have not even put on the lashes and I'm already having issues with my lashes. So I am going to go ahead and put on my lashes. 
if this doesn't work honestly I'm going to throw it out and then deal with my natural lash because I'm so bad at applying my own lashes I mean it's so I don't know why but it's so difficult for me so pretty works So I succeeded in putting the first one. I just hope the second one works as well. If not, I'm going to take everything out and then be free. Be free. Look, I might be a professional makeup artist, but I hate putting lashes on. Like for me, my makeup, doing my makeup is all, has always been like something else. I love looking all glam, all beautiful and all that, but then doing my own makeup has always been a challenge. But I love beating people's faces. I love beating their face to like... Thank you, baby. It's always make me feel like I'm the most beautiful woman on earth. But I'm beautiful. I mean, your mama is beautiful and they know it. Yes. <laughs> so I just hope this comes out looking good because I don't know. <laughs> I always say in my video, I like do most times I like doing the highlights before the foundation applications. Most times I like doing the foundation application before the highlight, but whichever one goes, I mean, they all work best for me, they all work well for me. So you can try both of them out and see which one works best for you and which one doesn't work. But for me, anyone goes, so I'm good. So So going back in with my beauty blender. Okay, so that one done. Then the next thing is applying my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. all these please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video please consider smashing that subscribe button and clicking on that notification bell so you know whenever I post any new videos. so I usually do voiceovers but then I see some people telling me to like do this kind of videos and then show more of myself and like you've seen more of myself, you get to see my kids all the time, you get to hear their voices in the background. So you just have to deal with that. But I'm sorry, okay? But you just have to deal with that. That is why I always do voiceovers. Like when they are asleep, and that is why I do my voiceovers. When they are asleep and then I just have to, everywhere is quiet and I just do my voiceover. But then you guys decided you want to see this type of videos. I mean, I hope you get to enjoy their voices in the background. So, so that's fine. I don't mind doing this type of videos, but then it's just the noise. That's what, what I have always been running away from. But then I, it seems like I can't run anymore. So we have to all deal with it. I'll have to do a video on an updated brow routine, like, I'll just have to do it, but where I'll come down and do, like, my brows brows, not like, 
this but then you know i believe you guys have seen my work and then you guys have seen him know i kill it when it comes to brows but when it comes to my own brows no i don't kill it sis i do not kill it i don't know why if you've come this far thank you keep watching we have our refreshments at the end of the video and we have to call the register we have to call the roll call so you better just stay right there so after that i go on and i put on my and please if anyone knows where they sell contact lenses i seriously need one contact lens i have one here but i want something the color or something more intense like i like i think like space gray or something i just want other colors so if you know anywhere please help your sister out leave a comment in the comment section tell me where i can get a contact lens okay please so now i'm going in with the s pond setting powder so as this is setting i go on and do my lips that's how I basically do my makeup like That's the next thing I do, go ahead and line my lips while my face is baking. Instead of just waiting for it, sitting around waiting for it to bake, I do this. So this is what I do if I want to get a, this particular lip color. I do go ahead and um, after aligning my lips and applying the lip gloss that I want, I go ahead with this House of Tar. This is what I usually do. I go ahead with this House of Tar eyeshadow primer and then I just put a little bit on there, you know, to make the more like to highlight the middle to make it pop. looking at doing like a glossy lip i don't think i want this like this leave it like this or do a glossy lips what do you think so guys i cannot find my lip gloss but this is my daughter's lip gloss i just hope this is a clear lip balm because 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 so i'll be using this one it looks beautiful though so but then i will have to go ahead and take off the stain because my face is done baking and apply my powder this is the milani powder by the way shade 108 so i guess this is more like a get ready with me video and then you know, you know, get ready with me. No chatting in this one because I didn't tell you guys any story. But next one, I'll be telling you guys a story. You know, so if you want to hear the story time, you better hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell because next time will be a story time. You know, so I'll be going in with this e.l.f. blush palette. So after this, I do go ahead and apply my bronzer, highlighter, whichever one you want to do. That's fine. So that is what I'm going to do on here. Did you see that glow? Oh girl, I am glowing. <laughs> I love this Milani Fantastic Bronzer. This is what it is like. Okay. 
glow see it's glow so I just like to like with my brush not like getting more but just doing this right there I love doing that then on my nose let's just add a little bit to the nose So let's do the lip right here. Yeah, you know, I said this that I really, really, really do want my lips to pop because I feel I felt like it would look better with the lips popping. And this, yes, yes, looks good. It looks good with the lips. Ah. Absolutely. It looks good. The Almighty Setting Spray. This is the setting spray. So I go all in. Can I just taste that? Doesn't taste good. Why didn't I close my mouth? Okay, let's do this again. I think it looks good. So, if you've come this far, thank you so much for watching. Tuning in. If you're seeing this face for the first time, if you're a new subscriber, please. Click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you know whenever I post any new video, okay? So if you like this video and if you found it helpful and you enjoyed watching me do this makeup, give me a thumbs up, like put up that like, like this video, give it a thumbs up guys and definitely leave your comment in the comment section. Tell me how sweet I look, tell me how beautiful I look because I know, sis, I know. So tell me how beautiful I look in the comment section and tell me how bad it went or whatever. Just leave your comment in the comment section. Any question you have to ask, just leave it in the comment section. Anything at all. Leave those comments in the comment section mm -hmm. and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.